Hold up, wait, ooh, yeah, 23. Your bitch, she love me. She fucking on the team. Young nigga, the truth, bitch, you know. I'm definitely gonna tell them why we ain't the fucking worst generation. I'm gonna tell them, but first I'm gonna let them know where the fuck they at. You unhappy with your own fucking life, bastard. Since you wanna disrespect me and mine, I'm about to disrespect you and every motherfucker before you. I'm going hard. Oh, this the one they don't want to hear, nigga. Hold up, let me step in the sun. You old, hating ass motherfucker. You ignorant, hating piece of shit. You unhappy with your own fucking life, not knowing a damn thing, and opinion having bastard. Since you want to disrespect me and mine, I'm about to disrespect you and every motherfucker before you. So the new generation is the worst fucking generation ever to hit the fucking planet. Out of millions and millions of generations, nigga. Just hundreds of them bitches. Just going back to the fucking 18 out of all the generations. Fuck the other ones that just like hung and killed people. But anyway, out of all these fucking generations, this is the worst one. This the worst one to be. This one hit me where it hurt. This, this is, oh. I'm definitely gonna tell them why we ain't the fucking worst generation. I'm gonna tell them, but first I'm gonna let them know where the fuck they at. So we pop pills and we on drugs. All right, the crack epidemic didn't fucking hit this year. Niggas wasn't running up talking about some, oh, I heard you got a new high here. Let me, let me try that new high. Oh, I forgot, y'all, y'all wasn't doing that shit. We the only ones talking about some shit popping pills because we hear it in our music. Y'all wasn't just, a nigga wasn't just telling you crack existed and you ran for the shit. Nigga didn't even have to put it in a song. Nigga was just like, man, I got some new shit that get you high. You want it? Hell yeah, give it to me. Okay, anyway. We killing people left and right, motherfucker. We killing motherfuckers. You just shooting up Walmarts and schools and shit. <laughs> so you motherfuckers wasn't police officers beating the shit out of niggas and everybody. You're right, your generation was not shooting up Walmarts and shit. You know why? Because you motherfuckers was in the middle of the fucking street in the road, my nigga, with old ass camcorders having niggas spread your pussy on fucking the old cameras. Wasn't even gonna put the shit on YouTube. The shit was just gonna be sitting on a nigga camera on the shelf. That what you were doing. You motherfuckers was starting cults and shit, making like 30 million motherfuckers just off they self at the same fucking Time in less than five years. <laughs> Not the wild boy though. We wasn't shooting that wild boy though. Okay. Oh, you, you young niggas, they always in gangs and shit, and the streets is just horrible. <laughs> Bitch, the gang started with you motherfuckers. You niggas started the fucking gangs. Bitch, I can end all this shit right now, but I'm not, but I'm gonna say it right now. You are our parents. We came from you motherfuckers. Huh? Nigga wanna say, oh, we just had you motherfuckers and y'all was fucked up on your own. What? So you, no, no responsibility, you got me fucked up. If we gotta take responsibility for being drug addicts, you gonna damn sure take a responsibility for being a fucked up parent. That could have been the end of the video right there, but I ain't done with you hoes. Uh, next. Oh my God, look at how they dress. They so gay, niggas in dresses, they, look at this shit. Oh my God, look at all the gay people, the, the world coming to an end. Oh my God. Okay, so yeah, alright, y'all didn't have no gay folks. Y'all didn't have motherfuckers wasn't looking stupid as shit going to the club. Oh, alright. Alright, man, how I look, dawg? You fresh as fuck, my nigga. Shit, you know I had to go get the whole leather outfit, tight as a motherfucker, down to the shoes, bitch. They had them leather, them leather gator skins out there. I needed them, you know what I'm saying? I'm leather down. If I step in the sun, it's gonna scald my ass. We think tight shit and weird fucking shit that might be considered feminine look good. And everybody got an opinion. But it's okay that you motherfuckers thought leather and fucking orange was like the move for the night, nigga. I'ma wear all black leather and silver everything. And we just gonna put some lime green on this shit and watch our pool bitches. And nigga pool bitches. Yo, y'all bitches was stupid as hell. Bitches was actually coming home with you niggas looking just like you motherfuckers. I'ma put a bunch of fucking grease in my hair and and let it slip down the back of my fucking neck and call it a jerry curl and this is the hottest shit to hit the block nigga ice cube had one of them motherfuckers oh but you know y'all them young niggas stupid they look they dyed their hair all types of colors of shit and 
exactly. They don't know if they want to be a man or a woman. Ooh, ooh. We ain't sliding past that one. Look at all these motherfucking men turning into women and, and women turning into men and shit. Oh my God. You didn't see that back in my day. Yeah, you didn't see it, bitch, because you didn't have Instagram. We're going to end this shit here with one statement. How much different do you think our generation and them old motherfuckers' generation would look if them niggas had the internet? What you think would have happened if the Black Panthers had fucking Instagram and YouTube? Fuck you think would have happened if goddamn Tupac was on Twitter? Hold up. Fuck that. If Martin Luther King had Tumblr, nigga hold the fuck up nigga i'm talking about let charles manson had a had a motherfucking twitter let jim jones and i ain't talking about the fucking rap if jim jones the fucking cult leader would have been on goddamn facebook oh my god hold up i don't even want to know what the fuck had to happen if the kkk would have been on instagram in a prime matter of fact we cool as fuck because we accept everybody you can do what the fuck you want to do and make a million dollars off of it but what would have happened if the trannies that y'all was beating the fuck up for being fucking niggas wanting to look like women had a been on goddamn Twitter. Oh my god. But nah, it's just it's just that we fucked up and that's it. We 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 just fucked up. And nobody else got nothing to do with that. We gave birth to you motherfuckers and y'all just got fucked up on your own. Period. I got three dicks that pop out the side of my hip. One, two, and two on this side. So you can suck with either one you want. If you one of them old upset motherfuckers, it's fuck you. We ain't different. We don't even compare ourselves to y'all. So why the fuck you doing it to us? If we was comparing ourselves, bitch, I'd say we better shit. We got 618,000 fucking millionaires from the age of 12 to goddamn 20 in this fucking generation alone. We making more money than you bitches. Happy New Year shit. Boy, black bitch, look like wet fear. Right. Peanut butter seats, Reese's puff in tear. 28 grams, smoking straight skunk hair. Eyes red in my hoodie, shaking hands with giraffes. Mix hard, giving Nick what's an ass. OG in the booth, OG fogging up the room. No, I can't see.